फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर इनवैलिड वेरिएबल नेम्स एंड वाई दिस इज इंटरेस्ट पेड नो प्रॉब्लम विद दैट इट इज वैलिड दिस इज नॉट अलाउड हाइफन इज नॉट अलाउड ओनली अंडर स्कोर आर अलाउड ओनली अंडर स्कोर इज अलाउड दिस इज द ओनली स्पेशल कैरेक्टर विच इज और स्पेशल सिंबल विच इज अलाउड सो दिस इज इन वैलिड एवरेज इज वैलिड नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन गिव द नेम इन कैप्स मीन्स अपर केस और लोअर केस नाउ हेयर इफ यू अज्यूम दैट देर इज अ डेसिमल पॉइंट हेयर और अ डॉट हेयर दिस इज इन वैलिड बिकॉज ऑफ द डॉट पॉइंट वन टू थ्री इट इज इन वैलिड बिकॉज द नेम शुड स्टार्ट विथ इधर एन अल्फाबेट और एन अंडर स्कोर दीज टू आर ओनली अलाउड नंबर बिगनिंग द वेरिएबल नेम बिगनिंग विथ अ नंबर इज नॉट अलाउड डिस्ट इन के एफ देर बिकॉज देर आर ब्लैंक स्पेसेस हेयर इट इज नॉट अलाउड ओ टी पे अगेन बींग ब्लैंक स्पेस नेम इट इज वैलिड फ्लोट नाउ दिस इज वैलिड और इन वैलिड सिंस फ्लोट स्मॉल स्मॉल दिस वन इज द लोअर केस and this is being seen by the compiler but this is not being seen the capital float can be allowed point out the errors what are the errors do we have any errors here int is equal to this see int this is a keyword you cannot assign anything to be to a keyword you just have to give some variable name name is equal to ajay but this is single quotes so it has to be a character that that can only be one character ajay is an invalid character constant you cannot assign on the left this value you can have just a just one variable so on the left hand side of this is equal to or you can say an assignment operator there can only be a variable this because we don't have c cross or 2.45 cross a this is the error so we have to insert this is not implicit means compiler will not understand this compiler will only understand be only understand this if you have proper uh, operators here what is the problem there are spaces there are spaces in between blank spaces here uh, is there any problem we cannot see any problem everything is fine here this one double star this is not available so it, this is an invalid operator now we have to evaluate these expression and show their hierarchy also how to show this uh, the value will put in place of abc will put here 1.5 big will put 3 and we will assume g to be float so answer will come in float so let us start first of all we know that the uh, division and multiplication have the highest precedence followed by the plus and minus and here also modulo also because the modulo is not there but still these three have highest preference then we have followed by plus minus and if you have bracket it has the first first preference so let us start this is uh, we have placed the value first 3 by 2 will be done and 3 by 2 you know because these two are integer 3 by 2 is 1.5 only one will be taken 0.5 will be discarded so only one will come then one plus we are 3 into 4 first this will be done 3 into 4 this will be 12 then 12 by 3 that is 4 then uh, 1.5 by 3 because all in all these this division operator has the higher precedence we know that 1.5 by 3 means 1.5 by 3.0 that will be you know 0.5 so 0.5 will come now first is we have plus minuses there are so many uh, values here plus minus and this all can be taken so which we have to take first of all 4 plus 1 will take 5 and then we'll have this uh, 5 minus 3 that will be 2 and then 2 plus 0.5 2.5 2.5 because g is what g is your float so 2.5 will come here also same thing we'll put the values and then we'll see what to do first of all the into and division operator this will give you these two operators are having higher or highest precedence so 3 into 2 will be done first this will be 6 then 6 by 2 6 by 2 is 3 and see this uh, on is an integer now 3 by 2 3 by 2 will be what 3 by 2 will be 1.5 again 1.5 will only take 1 0.5 will be discarded so it will be 1 then 1 into 2 will be 2 
then uh, all are done now let us see this one 3 plus 2 5 then 5 plus 2 7 and then 7 and this 3.2 when we add them this will be 10.2 but since on is an integer this 0.2 will be discarded only 10 will be given here so final will be, value will be 10 again the same thing with some additional operators or formations so we'll put the value and please see that s is an integer first we'll do 2 into 4 that will be 8 then we'll do 8 by 4 that will be 2 then we have 6 by 2 that will be 3 then we have uh, this what what we have to do here see we'll do the this operation first 2 by 3 2 by 3 will be as we know it will be some 0 point something but because these two are integer we'll discard the decimal point only 0 will come and 0 into 6 is what again 0 and 0 by 3 is again 0 now we are only we are only left with 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 is minus 1 and since it is an integer s can be minus 1 we have to convert the following equation into corresponding c st uh, statement so we have to put a star here then we have a star here into then we have a star here then uh, we have a star 2 into a then this is okay this is also okay now this this uh, division sign will be converted into this you know slash so this is how and you can do one more thing you know that this can be kept in a round bracket this can be kept in a round bracket this can be kept in a round bracket you know all those which you have to do uh, you want this to be done first so all this can be kept in a round bracket again here minus b plus b square plus 2 in minus 4 into star into star here also star and this is the division sign. Now you can put the bracket as per your convenience which you want to do first. Here also you have to put a star here, star here for multiplication. Then this can be converted to division signs and give it a bracket. So this is how it is done. What will be the value or the output of the following program segment? See, i is 2, j is 3. First is and k and l, all these are integers. a and b are float. So first is k is equal to i divided by j cross j, i divided by j cross j. What what you'll get? This will be two by then j that is three, and then cross again three. So what will be two by three? See this k is integer. So the, you you'll get two by three. Two by three is because these are integers. So you'll get zero point something. We'll only take zero because this eventually the point after the value. After the dot, the value will be discarded. So this will be 0, 0 into 3 is 0. So you will get a 0 first. The k will be printed as 0. Next, we have uh, l is equal to j by i into i. That means that you will have j as 3 by i into i. That is 2 into 2. See, this l is again an integer. l is an integer. So what you will get? 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is 1.5. But because this is these two are integers, you will get only 1. 0.5 will be discarded. 1 into 2 is 2. So you will get 2 here. If you print KL, if you print L, you will get 2. Next is same thing. What you have got here? You know, if you if you perform this, you will get some zero value. But since this A is what? This is a float. So you will get 0.000. .000. What you got here? You got 2.2. You get you got 2. But this is a float. So it will place 0, 0, 0, 0. This will be 6 times. Right? So this will be the result. Same thing here, same thing here, but these are these two are integer, these are two are floats. Pick up the correct alternative for each of the following questions. C language has been developed by Dennis Ritchie. This is the correct answer. C language has been developed at AT&T Bell Labs. C language came into existence 1972. C is a, see, uh, most often we will come across this question and we will try or tempted to answer this as high level language. But the answer to this question is a middle level language because middle level language means uh, which is closer to your hardware. It can talk to hardware directly also and it is English like also. So, if both characteristics are there, then the language becomes a middle level language, where that is why C is a 
middle level language. C can be used anywhere, any, anywhere, all of the above. This is the answer. C programs are converted into machine language. Uh, this is not the question of uh, only C programs. Any program, any uh, C, Java, or you take any, any of these, this will be converted to machine language by a compiler, that language compiler. So the answer will be compiler. Next is the real constant in C can be expressed in which of the following form? It can be expressed in the fractional as well as exponential form. It depends on how big the number is. So both fractional and exponential forms, these, this is the answer. A character variable can at a time store how many? A character is one character only, only one character. So the answer will be one character. Character means one character. Which of the following is not a character constant? None of these, none of these means all of the above, they, they are not character constant. Character constant means just in the single quotes, you just have to have one, one character. The maximum value that an integer constant can have. See, this is very, uh, you know, system dependent or compiler dependent. So you can have, if, if uh, we just go to, we give just two bytes to our integer constant, then the maximum value can go up to 32767. So we'll stick up to this, you know. Uh, for our discussion, for our solving of this question answers, we'll uh, assume it to be 2 byte. Then it goes to 32767. Actually, it goes to 32767 on the right hand side of the number line and minus 32767 on the left hand side. The maximum width of C variable name can be, again here also, the C variable name can be, you know, it also system dependent, so it can be anywhere, any character long. But we stick for the question answer purpose 8 characters new compilers they corbit 32 characters so we'll stick to 32 characters it can go up to more more than that for answering this question you'll go to the second one otherwise it can go up to any any number of character a c variable cannot start with it cannot start with a c, a c variable can start only with a only with say a, an underscore or an alphabet. So the answer would be this. Both 2 and 3 above means a number, a special symbol. But this special symbol, if it is underscore, then it is allowed. So we are just assuming that this special symbol is not underscore. Then only this, this is the correct answer. Which of the following statement is wrong? This is wrong. Why? Because we cannot have a sing, the uh, expression on the left hand side. Which of the following shows the correct hierarchy of arithmetic operations in C? So we have known about this. Or always we have a round bracket first. Then these, these are not there. In C, we have, uh, up till our discussion we have seen that if we are uh, a beginner to C, we know that this is not allowed. So only this uh, falls into the correct category. So this fourth is the answer. Here, which operation will be performed first? See, when we have, we have just seen this question, the round bracket will be performed first. So the innermost round means if you have round, round brackets, round bracket. So this will be performed first, 3 star C. This will be the answer, third one. Which of the following is allowed in a C arithmetic instruction? Which of the following is allowed? Only this is allowed, neither this nor this. Only third one. Which of the following statement is false? Please read them very carefully and try to answer which is false. The answer is actually one. Each new C instruction has to be written on a separate line. There is, uh, there is no restriction like this. You can write uh, your complete program in one line. Just separate them by semicolon. So there is no restriction of writing them on different lines. This we just do just uh, to make our program readable. If A is an integer value, A is equal to 5 by 2 will return what? 5 by 2 is what? You get 2.5. But because these two are integer, you will get only integer value. This will be discarded. So the answer will be this one, third. The expression this evaluates to. I hope that you will be able to solve this. This will be 0 because 7 by 22, first of all, this will be computed. But still we know that 7 by 22 is again 0 because both are integer and you will get some 0, 0.00. Here also 3 by 5, you will get some 0 point something and you will get a 0. The expression this evaluates to what? See, if you uh, try to see what is coming and if we assume that the, the 
integer this a is an integer and it is it is of uh, two byte then this 300 this will be 30000 and this will be 2768 so 32768 now this goes beyond the limit of two byte 32767 32767 is our higher limit so what this will is going to give you this will take you to the opposite side of the number line so this is minus 327680 this is the number line so because we have just crossed this limit and we have gone here this will take us here so the answer will be this one minus 32768 the expression this evaluates to what what will be the answer c the answer will be 6 why since we have 4 plus 2 modulo minus 8. So, first of all, this will be done. We know the precedence. So, 2 modulo minus 8. That is minus 2 by 8. Just assume this. And we know that here we are getting the value as 2. If you perform this, then the modulo will, if, if you take this only, 2 by 8. So, modulo will always give you the value. If this is higher, this is lower, you will get this value only always. So, this 2 will be added with 4, you get 6. Hierarchy decides which operator is used first. So, 6 second will be the answer. 